Hello, everyone. You are watching The Real Nelson Podcast, where we talk everything family, fitness, and relationship. What is relationships? Relationships are relationships that turn into... No. Relationships are <laughs> friendships that turn into relationships, much like our marriage. Yes, sir. So funny to me. Okay. So, I mean... Before we go any further, because this is about to get hot, don't forget to like, hot, oh, subscribe, and hit that notification button. That part, and please comment. We got, we gonna have questions for oh, you all. Oh, y'all gonna want to comment? Please, please, please. Oh, y'all gonna want to comment? Leave some comments. Let's I'm have some dialogue already. about this. Let's take this on further. All right. So I'm gonna start off with a quote from. Man, Pop- what is this about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. we, right now, what we about to talk about? We got to say. Let at least before you drop you, your. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right. So look. On the pivot, <laughs> exactly the pivot, the podcast. On the pivot the podcast, pivot. it was a very Y'all dope podcast. Um, they had two guests, two special guests, Simone Biles and her husband Jonathan Owens. Really, just one special guest. One Jonathan special Owens, guest, right? And Jonathan his boo thing came, right? Simone Biles. His wife accompanied him. Yep. Right. Um, and so, like, this is our first podcast where we actually like talking about a hot topic. Yes. Yes, right. we had to. We've been talking about this for 11 days. One, one, 11 days. We couldn't let it go. It's just too much. Our household has been like, uh, look, we just had Zoe's birthday. She turned one. That was Christmas party, Eve, Christmas. Christmas. Every time we saw somebody, this is something we talked about. So we was like, yo, let's just go ahead and bring it here so that we can talk with y'all about it. It's a big I need deal. To know. It's a big deal because like their, their origin story kind of mirrors mm-hmm. ours mm-hmm. and how we first started. Okay. Okay. And so... We're going to start off with this quote that I, I gathered towards the end of the podcast. But it said, it, it, they basically said this. Um, it, it was Ryan that said this, yeah. right? He said, there is no limit uh-huh. to on how much people feel like they're entitled to or ask for. Mm-hmm. And he's talking to them. Feel like they're entitled to towards Simone Biles and her husband, Jonathan Owens, or will ask them for. And y'all lived up to that. I'm not going to say y'all people lived up to but that. But the people... The yeah. people. And for me, so then we talk about how it's really bothersome that the world does take these sound bites because really it was, like I said, it was on the pivot. It was on the Instagram page that they posted. So it was maybe like a 30, 45 second clip at, that at they most, posted. Right? At most. At, at most, most. Right. That they posted. From a 54, uh, from a basically almost an hour long podcast. And so right? it was this basically, like I said, 45, 30 second clip that they posted and people just kind of went crazy over that. And yeah. it wasn't just to go crazy. It was the fact that it was this snippet. In this world, we have said, you can say two sentences and I know everything about you. You can say one thing and I know your character. I know where you come from. I know the type of person you are, whether you trash or not. And that's yeah. pretty much what I feel like will happen with it. And that just drives home that, 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 that there's no limit, right? And that's right. the dangers of social media, right? It, right. And so for me, this is also triggering. It's not just triggering because I'm like, man, y'all, yeah. this is sad. Whether we feel like... And so it's triggering for me kind of twofold because one, yes, it's bothersome that this happened and I feel like we're kind of judging people and going ham on their character kinda, off they of that. Definitely they did. Judging. But then for me, it's triggering because I remember early in my career, it we absolutely happened that. to me. Yeah. It absolutely happened where I did an twice. interview. It happened twice. Literally did an interview and it was one thing. One of them, I didn't even say anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how about imagine not saying anything and then what seems like the world is coming for you and you're like, oh, so I'm trash now? No, I'm no, not you deserving gotta, of it. You got it. No, hap- no, 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 no. I don't not feel what like happened, it. I'm not when, like when. Reason why I say I'm not, when I say I'm terrified yeah, of like yeah, that, tra- oh, yeah. what if it happens again? Don't, don't, don't. <sighs> I'm just saying yeah. it is a real thing trigger, dealing yeah. with it being triggered and dealing with trauma from being like, yo, I didn't even say that, first of all. Second, I didn't say anything. And then even if I did, does that mean that I'm trash? Like, yeah. anyway, so look, we can move. We can go ahead and move on. But so what we talk. Look, it's amazing how folks get, how, yep. how opinionated folks yeah. get about, like, happy, like, happily oh, married yeah. or happy, happy couples. Yeah. Right. That's my, that's one of my gripes about this whole thing, too. Uh-huh. Right. It's like, here's this happy young couple. Mm-hmm. No yeah. problems. Yeah. Like he ain't did nothing wrong, she ain't did nothing wrong. There's no issues, no, no, no shape, form, or fashion. Yeah. They grab we know. they grab two sound bites and now run, girl, run. And and the reason that it's a great for me is because on that flip side, we got all of these toxic relationships that are mm-hmm. out here. And everybody tunes into it. Yeah, and nobody we'll say, saying it's not, my, it's not my business to really yeah. say anything. That's not. And because grown. you don't say anything, you're actually co-signing yeah. to 
that's those relationships. True. And that's my biggest issue with all of that. Yeah. Like, that's one of my biggest issues with all of that. All right. So, um, again, in this podcast, there's basically three sound bites. There's three. Three sound Hit bites. Up three, one, two, and three. And we're going we gonna to unpack, we're going to try to unpack them. But we want, go ahead, baby. And I was going to say, let me say real quick, it was the first section of when he talked, it was six minutes. Six, six minutes. minutes where he talked about his relationship. The uh, six minutes where they took that 45 second, I'm going to keep it at 45, okay. 45 second sound bite, okay, mm-hmm. in a 54 minute interview, okay? There's so much more in that interview than just that. But let's go ahead and hit him with the first one. What's the first one, babe? The name, right? He didn't know her name. He said, I didn't know who she was. Yeah, he didn't know who she was. And so for me, what's so interesting with that is that there was an interview where even Simone Biles herself said, not everyone in the world knows who I am. Yeah. Wait, what? Is it possible? So my question is, the whole time, let let me, let me, I want to... Yeah. Preface all of this. I want to start it off with a question. All of them by saying, could it be? That's the question. Could it be that maybe yeah. he didn't know who she was? Let's We're reconsider not, our angle because, towards right. this approach. Okay. Because right? what I want to do is right now, all I can do is take him at face value for yeah. what he said. And honestly, that's all we can do. We can't we don't read know. behind. We don't know we this don't man. Know him. We don't know this man. And then let me jump to this part real quick. People have been going so hard that Simone Biles even tweeted herself. It was a thing video. She was like, y'all done yet? Like, can y'all get up off my bed? Y'all yeah. going so hard that she's like, hey, excuse me, we're just trying to be happy over here. So, yeah, like I said, so she even said that. Then him not knowing her. Okay. Him not knowing who I am doesn't change who I am. That's the, and that's y'all the get big that thing. Part? Him not knowing who Simone Biles is doesn't change that she is her. The okay? problem, though, she is... is her. She, her. She, she, she is don't her. Change. It doesn't change. She, her. She, her. You know how you be like, <laughs> okay, I'm don't. him. She, her. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like the problem though is the reason that I, could it be that people have a problem with that because mm-hmm. we, we put so much, today's society mm-hmm. puts so much onus on the number of subscribers we okay. have, the number of followers we have, Agreed. the number of likes that we get Per, per picture. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I Could that be could, why that was an issue? I think that that could be. But I think the reason why it doesn't matter is she's still her. It didn't change like, the fact she that she still has the her greatest of fi- exactly. ever. She is exactly. the GOAT. Like, we throw out that GOAT word a lot, but she she's legitimately the GOAT. She has moves named after her. Right, right. Right? So, like, there was, a, there was a part in the podcast where, like, he was like, he asked her, like, who's our greatest yeah. competition? She was like, myself. Myself. And he was like, nah, for real. Like, because think about it. To the typical person, even a typical the, athlete. You can name some people. You absolutely. It, off the top uh, of your head, somebody comes up and you're like, yeah, uh, yeah, this person, that person. So he said, he was like, nah, 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 but for real, though. And she, and she was like, nah. Sport. Exactly. And she was like, nah, it's me. Yeah. And he said he he then began to realize it's just her. <laughs> she right. is her. Right? And so, like, let's, let's also, I, I want to also, like, kind of explain, like, where where he was in his life because both of us were uh-huh. collegiate athletes. We'll see. We'll see. I was going to talk about that. Okay. Ahead, yes, babe. but there's a part before that was 2012 tweet. Yeah, man. So when he said so, okay. So some of you were so upset in saying that, um, and let me say some people were. It wasn't mm-hmm. just necessarily you. Okay. Could it be? No. Uh, but no. What he was saying that like I didn't. He said I didn't really keep up with gymnastics. You know I didn't know who she was. And so Somebody people were like, "There's no way that this could be." So they went back to 2012 to so one of his tweets where I think he was talking. About, he said gymnastics, where he's like, "I'm just waiting on somebody to fall somebody or something fall, like that." Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think in 2012 they said this man was in high school. He, he was like maybe 17 like 17 years old. He was like 17 years old. Yeah. And so for me, how I read that is, is yeah, he was watching the. He's watching gymnastics. He was watching the Olympics. And that obviously, you know, gymnastics is one of the sports that we watch. But as a kid, Gabby Douglas, that black, was, yeah, killing it. Yeah. You're going to know about Gabby Douglas. Yeah. He's watching. He's in high school. Yes. So for him, he he watched it. He watched it in high school. So you said if he watched it then, he had to have followed it for the rest of his life. Yeah. There's no way that he's never not watched gymnastics from then on. Yeah. I don't know if we can hang our hat on that one, y'all. I don't know if we can say because he tweeted in 2012, now in 2020, 2020 when they met. Yeah, they met twenty twenty. Yeah, that now he does also know about some. He been vibes. dialed in. I don't even know if like, I if I'm driving this home properly. I mean, even on your favorite, even on your favorite most liked uh, gymnastics video, could you name that that gymnastics athlete? That's true. Right. There's actually a study that basically says that um, 
people recognize people recognize faces before they recognize names mm-hmm. and vice versa. Like and so like oftentimes like I can see a name, but I go through my phone book. I mm-hmm. see a name and I'm like, I don't remember that person. But then when I see their face, be like, what's their name? Like it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. so those are yeah. issues. Yeah. But like let's unpack this from a from a perspective of a of, of a um a, a college athlete. I was about to say where he said he was at the time. Because in 2016 he, he, was, he was he was he was a collegiate athlete. Mm-hmm. He was a football player. Yes. And so if anybody knows anything about football, like college football, and if you don't, we're gonna I'm gonna talk about it right fast. Um, in college football, July through August is like the most in, like that's the most dialed in that they are mm-hmm. they are. And so I looked at a typical schedule. Of a, of a college football athlete um, just for training, right? Mm-hmm. So at five to six, they're waking up and they're eating breakfast, right? From like six to like 6.30, they are looking at film. Um, no, I think it's like, it said like six to 7.30. Yeah, I mean, it was like well, an hour yeah, and a six half Six to block. 7.30, right? And so that basically he's doing, all uh, right, then from 7.30 to like maybe like nine or 11, they are, they're practicing or they're mm-hmm. in the weight room. And then from there, they're doing some studying because um, football players, they, they take summer school courses, mm-hmm. right? Because they want to be eligible for season. Um, then um, after like, so they're, they're in classes from like, you know, maybe 11 to two, two to like 2.30 to like 2.30 to almost like Five, they are practicing again. Mm-hmm. Um, then from there, they well, they got to they got to get taped. I was about to say they had to get treatment. They got to get taped. They got to get treatment. Then they go to go to practice. Then after practice, they got to go. Um, they they got to go eat. And they said eating, and then they also had tutoring in there. They so literally, so I, I didn't get home till like nine thirty. It was from five or six in the morning till nine thirty at night. Yeah. Literally yeah. every minute, every second of their day Absolutely. was accounted for. And so what we're saying is, is he said that he was in camp. And he was like, they didn't have NBC. They didn't have the Olympic channel. He's yeah. like, none of that was going on. He was like, he was deep in the grind. For sure. He was like, so I didn't see her win. I didn't see anything basically regarding the Olympics. We can say it's impossible, but if we're taking him at face value, I'm just saying that's what he hey, said. Look, I wasn't there with went, him. Look, you went to UCLA, Where right? Where are you? He went to, he went to a Division II right. school in Missouri. I went to, like, I remember my freshman year at Hampton, mm-hmm. right? I had a TV, but the cable wasn't connected. I didn't watch, like... <laughs> The only what we was doing on TV was playing Smash Brothers. Uh-huh. That's that's the only reason the TV was being used. Yeah. Right. So whatever was, else was going on in the world, we was clueless, oblivious to it. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and I think I think the 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 one of the issues with that is because people. People are wondering, could it be he's an athlete and how do you not know about another athlete? I think that's one of the that's a big thing. Also, yeah. it's not just that. It's like, oh, he's a person that's, you know, kind of he's at an, school and just kind of doing. Right? He should you're be dialed athlete, in. You should be dialed sports. in. And I'm like, during that period of time. So then it was nah. like, we even have like a friend. We know we have friends that are lawyers, but we have friends that I remember there was mm-hmm. a huge chunk when they were studying for the bar. Yeah, like they just shut down. They shut they shut themselves. They the locked themselves in the off. basement. They cut themselves off from the world and just studied. They dialed in. I remember just, in particular studied. one friend, I called them and was like, hey, legit, like, let's go get something to eat. And she's like, I have not left my basement. I'm, she yeah. said basically she had almost moved back home and she stayed at her parents' basement so they could like cook meals, clean, do all yeah. the things. All she had to do was study, wake up, eat, and study. That and was that's all she wanted to do. That's consistent with like most, like, almost like all, um, all people that are taking a professional test, whether it be the MCAT, the mm-hmm. PCAT, the LSAT, Listen, life or the is bar. Consumed. Like, so the bar is after all of this stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like their life is consumed for this period of time. You know what I mean? And like one thing we didn't say was like you said, in athletics, like we're all in our own collective bubbles. Yes, right. So like Don is in an individual sport. Yep. They're in their own bubble, especially especially around season, mm-hmm. right? Well, I look, I think about, for me, it just takes me straight up back to when I was going for my first Olympics. Mm-hmm. When I was going my first Olympics, there were so many times where I would, it's like I felt like I would raise my head up and come above water and be like, oh, it's the world. What's up, world? How yeah, y'all you don't doing? even know holidays. Remember that? Yes, You'd be like, yeah. why, why you get to come in town here? That's Martin so King's when we like, were oh. So once we were finally together, yeah. like I remember talking with him and Say, you know, most days if he's going to work, we have to, our conversation, you know, we do a good morning, but then that's it. And it would be a time we'd be talking at like nine, 10 o'clock in the day. Yeah, and I'm like, what phone, you doing? Bro. I'm like, how you still on the phone? He was like, don't, it's Martin Luther King. I'm, I'm like, what? Yeah. I got practice today. So holidays, I did not under, like, I forgot them. Everything I, I, was wrapped around your training. Everything was wrapped around training. Yeah. Your life and your world is consumed by training. 
I'm just saying if we take this man for face value and what he said, there is a such thing as being in the grind and someone else dictating your schedule so much that the world kind of doesn't exist to you. It could it be that could it be for an NFL player or someone striving to right. be in the NFL that the Olympics is not that big of a deal to him as it is to other athletes. It could be. Right? It could be. It um, could because be. the main, the, the big three, the big US three, the NFL, the NBA, and the MLB, like the Olympics, the, the Olympics don't make or break their careers. It doesn't. But for those it individual doesn't. sports like swimming, uh, track and field, I was going to say the Olympics, <laughs> the swimming, <laughs> track and field, wrestling, gymnastics, gymnastics mm-hmm. It it cre- it, it can it, define your career. It defined it, it can define your career. Absolutely. It propelled your career. It did. No, ab- well, absolutely. That's why I was on the grind. My first one, like, this gotta work. Cause if it doesn't, when I tell you, yeah. it, it will feel like my world is over yeah. if this Olympics does not work. Because team. I'm already working yeah. three jobs to try and do so yeah. listen, I got three jobs, training, weight room, physical therapy. Man, I got three jobs in training. Yeah. That's all that matters right now. The yeah. f- family calling. I'm like, why are you bothering me? This is it's just too much to try and have hold a conversation. Yeah. Uh, the uh, mental capacity that I have is towards this goal. That's it. You know? And so the next one is, so that was one. All right. So it was like, how do you not know who she is? Sound two. Bite two. Sound bite, bite two. The catch. Dude said... <laughs> How did you pull Simone by? He said, how did you pull her? Yeah, and yeah. then he's kind of telling the story. He's like, well, actually, she like she pulled me. And then he was like, wait, so so you saying you the catch. You the catch in relationship. And he goes, Jonathan Owens says, he was like, I mean, yeah, I'm the catch. I always say men are the catch. Y'all caught they fire. Like, oh, my God. They oh said, my oh, God. who did it? Who did it? And why? Like, you. Cl- what you say? Like, clutch my pearls. Clutch my pearls. Yeah. Y'all, listen. And I'm saying y'all because I'm talking to the ones. Like, if it wasn't you, I ain't talking to you. So let's yeah, stop. Yeah. We ain't got no beef. I always <laughs> say as a teacher, if the shoe fits, wear it. Okay. You and this <laughs> quit that you just put up. Listen. Okay. You had the first question, but I'm going to just go ahead and ask mine. Go. You want. Go ahead so, and do it. So. So, because I want you to talk most uh, so, in this section before I dive. In. So, okay, when he said men are the catch, I'm talking about the comments went in. It's like a thousand comments. Y'all yeah. went in, and my question, seriously, seriously, without like, oh, we being goofy. I'm serious. Was the issue what you heard as in? Because he said men are the Could catch. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah. Um, that all he was saying was I have value as well. Could it be? That is, is it, is it that when you heard him say men are the catch, that women are not, that women are trash? Yeah. Like for, that's my question. When he said men are the catch, did you hear men are the catch and women are trash? Like yeah. I, that's, that's what I want to know. Did you hear that? Because I don't get, when I dated anyone that I've dated, when I saw them, I absolutely was assuming they were a catch. I did not approach you thinking that, I mean, he all right, but like I'm the catch and he'll learn that. No, I assume that two catches were getting together. Yeah. So my question is for people that made the comment of how you going to say men are the catch. Because I really do want to understand your perspective because I don't. Yeah. Um, what did you hear when he said that? What did that uh, sentence mean to you? So I got so my questions are a little bit more harsh. Oh, um, but like think about this for me. Mm-hmm. Right. How many of us know of people or women that went to college to okay. find a husband. I know people. Um, it was not me. I know people. Right? How many, how often do we see on TV mm-hmm. those those people or women sitting on that, mostly women, not all the time women, women sitting on that front row. <laughs> I know I'm like I'm glitching, right? I know, because, no, like, because we're like, how they like, gonna come for us? I'm like, ah! I'm tiptoeing I know, in my tip-toeing Jordans in, in this, my but it's like, um, but like sitting on the front row, <laughs> yeah. trying to be seen. I know what you're trying to say. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. Right? It's like, like we we not going to WNBA games, like to so, you so, know what I mean? So, no, but absolutely. Like, you so know what, what I mean? it is is yeah. He, I told him like this when really, he really when hard. he made the yeah. comment saying men are the catch. I was telling Lonzo. I said, well, the reason why I'm seeing in the response that so many women are upset is because. It's the saying is that women are the catch. Like you caught a good one, women are the catch. And so I was like, it's mind blowing to think that a guy would kind of disregard the amazingness and the purpose of a woman by saying he's the catch. That's what I feel like you guys are saying. But I'm like, I I don't get that. I was trying trying to see it from you guys' perspective. So what he's saying is, is, well, 
you don't think they're a catch when you're dressing up and you're saying, I'm going to go find a man today. Yeah, I'm going to find a man tonight. You're to out and all when, of these things. Exactly, like, all these things. Yeah. So, like I said, I for sure can vividly think of like five women off the top of my dome <laughs> right now in college mm. where they were like, I'm getting that dude right there, that football player, because he's going to the NFL. I remember like, talking to I people I remember in college. girls getting yeah. cheated on and they were like whatever because he going to the league that part yeah. so what i what what we're saying is they're like he's a catch now that's not the catch that i want so but he's saying that there down. was some value with men in men listen so i wrote something out because again like mm-hmm. um here's why i think it's important like 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 dawn said could it be that he sees himself as a catch too yeah right also you know because and here's why I think that's important that we all think that we're catches, right? Because if I don't think I'm a catch, uh, I think that he or she is doing me a favor mm-hmm. by like hook, like hooking up, giving me a True. chance, True. right? Um, I don't think that I deserve love from this person okay. if I don't think I'm a catch, right? Um, and because of that, um, whenever we show up places. Um, or separate, like go in separate places, whether she traveling to go out of mm-hmm. town or he travels to go out of town, um, his ego is going to be challenged. Yep. Right? And so I'm going to get upset if my name ain't mentioned. Like, he, she ain't say my name. She ain't say hi to me. Mm-hmm. She, didn't, she didn't message me or something like that. Um, I'm going to get upset if my name's misspelled or mispronounced. Mm-hmm. Um, or I'm going to be get upset if she gets way too much more attention than I do. Okay. Much like, you know what I mean? If we when we did red carpets and people would be like, "All right, step step to the side cuz I want to take a picture of Dawn." It's like, "Cool. That, yeah, I'm here because yes. of her. I'm here to support her." Right? Right? Because I feel like I'm a catch and I know that she's a catch. Yes. Right? Um and um if you don't feel like you're a catch in a relationship, you're going to allow like I would have allowed my insecurities to take feet and run with mm-hmm. my emotions, right? Mm-hmm. And I have a specific, uh, a specific instance when we first started dating. Um, I remember when you went off to Daegu, South Korea, mm-hmm. right? Again, like we just started dating. If I wasn't secure myself, I would have thought that um, you was lying about telling me you ain't had no <laughs> signal. You know what I mean? Because I was like, yo, I'm like waiting for I'm waiting yeah. for you to like let me know you landed and this, that, and the third. And I ain't hear nothing for hours, right? And then you told me like, yo, I ain't had no signal, blah, say this, blah, say that. And I was like, okay. Like I had to like check myself yeah. and be like, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, and then I would have been mad when you called me from somebody else's phone. Like, what you doing with their phone? What you doing in their room? Why they and phone work while your phone with a woman work? Like you know me. what I mean? Never. <laughs> and then... I would have been sick to hear you having a good time while I'm missing you. Because I was kicking it. <laughs> listen, listen, us athletes yeah. overseas, we was like, we got to kick it together because ain't Absolutely. nothing else to do. We don't understand nothing, no TV. We don't understand the people around us. So I'm just going to link arms with somebody that's speaking English and you the homie for this whole trip. But I, I like when I thought about that part, like, you know what I'm saying? Me being upset, me potentially being upset because you was having a good time and I was at home by myself. Like I think about like there's this there's like sometimes you see it on social media or you see it in other places or sayings where like the woman don't want the man to be having no good time out by yeah, himself and all that, that stuff. It was like really weird, but no, yeah, yeah. So but, look, I thought so. I did, this is another little part that I didn't like, finish. Okay, when I was saying that he's a catch, right? So let me say this: if you don't think that Simone Biles didn't think her man was a catch, first of all, she sat there, she was playing with her necklace, and she was beaming from ear to ear, smiling hard, right? And I even saw that one comment said she was smiling through her discomfort. She was like, she was right. It was like she was basically sad, but she had to smile to not be embarrassed. Nah. I didn't see that. So her explain eyes to me. Been bubbly. Explain to me. <laughs> it oh, no, been red. it was sad. Yeah, explain yeah. to me how that is the case. But uh, so let me say this. Um, so far, I said we're both catches. She knows she's a catch. She was smiling ear to ear. She even said. One day they won't be saying that you're Simone Biles' husband. I mean, Simone Biles' uh, husband. You'll be. They'll be saying that uh, I'm Jonathan Owens' wife. Right. So she's saying they won't be really talking about me. She said, "Baby, you gonna skyrocket," and then they gonna be saying, "Oh, oh my goodness, he brought his Jonathan Owens brought his wife." Do you understand the belief? Do you understand the 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 catch that you have to think that you have? To say that your man going to outshine you when you Simone Biles. Yeah. That means that she's seeing this man when he's like, I'm on the grind. I'm trying to get there. And she's like, baby, you are that. You he, are him. He she's talk- telling him you are him. Right. And he talked about it in the podcast, like how like he he recognized what kind of party it was when they went for milk and cookies. And like he had to take pictures. Yeah. He was taking pictures for her. And he was like, these kids were shaking and trembling. And right. Like, like, oh, my goodness, this is yeah, Simone Biles. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is the confidence 
that Simone Biles has when she's on the vault, when she's on the floor, when she's on the beam. If y'all think it just exists in gymnastics, y'all crazy. Yeah. You need to watch that interview because she sat there and she, look, when he was talking, it was moments where she would get up, she would say something. She was like, oh, babe, some, some, some. That woman is confident. He even said that during Christmas time, he wanted to buy people a certain gift and she was like, babe, they not getting that gift and I don't care what you say. Yeah. And he was like, you right, babe, you right. Listen, this is not a woman that's being run over in her yeah. household. This is not a woman that's sitting there like, I mean, he just cute. As the, people were saying, light skin with brown eyes and I'm just happy he chose me. Absolutely not. Simone no. Biles was like, I am her and I found a him. The the way that the way that y'all show up on the on the track and on the mat Absolutely. is the way that y'all show up in life. In life. That's the only that's the Unders only way y'all can be who y'all that are. Is, that's that's it. Yeah. I don't I can't function any other way. I have always said when I go do events, when I go do a, a red carpet, even though I'm the one that's invited and they're like, you can have a plus one, just to be honest, Lonzo's with me, I absolutely feel like I'm on his arm. He's not on mine. Yeah. That's that's not attractive to me. Sure. I love being your trophy husband. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh boy, we're gonna move on right, to so the, the, third third Ooh, the third comment. The, the, the third one. The third sound bite was the he, commitment. He said, okay, okay. So he said, um, I wasn't ready to commit. Because the guy sits up and he says, okay, okay. So if I'ma just say it out loud, it's safe to say Jonathan Owens didn't, didn't want some more violence. Yeah. And he was like, ah, he's like, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. And you heard him tripping over his words. And for me, it was more, he was like, ah, nah. He was like, I'm going to just be honest. He was like, I was, I was afraid to commit. He's basically like, she was, he said, he said, she was like, she was ready. She was like, I like you. Yeah. What's up? When you confident, that's what, and she said, she's like, I know what I like and I know what I want. And she was like, I wasn't afraid to go after him. That's why she said she sent the first comment. And he career was, wise. And career-wise, this is 2020. Simone had already, she's established herself. She's established. You know what I mean? But also in 2020, my man's had got cut five times. Yeah. He was, he was like, he was on practice squad, he said got, he was, cut, got released, this, yep. that, and the third. So he's just trying to make, he's trying to make yeah. a team. Yeah. And like, and where he was in his, where he was in his personal life, I could, I could definitely relate because yeah. um, there was, there like, there's a thing like, um, you said when we first started. Like dating. when we first started dating, like before we started dating, I didn't think that I was ready to be mm -hmm. in a relationship because I didn't think that I was ready to be a husband, right? Because you had this because idea I wasn't of what secure you thought. in my career. Mm -hmm. Like, like for me, like I felt like in order to be a, a suitable husband, I mm -hmm. needed to have a, a a strong. I need to be in my career, mm -hmm. right, and have all of these things in yeah. place. Check then out. I'd be like, okay, now I am mm -hmm. husband material, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. like, dude said, like, like Jonathan said, he was like. You know, life happens. Yeah, and he's he was like he's like yo he's I was he said I was only what th third year kind of into you know what I mean he was like yeah, back and forth kind of in my career in and, out. and yeah. he was like I just wasn't really ready to commit he was like but he was like when when he said when we basically said something I think along the lines of like when he said when it's supposed to happen it's supposed to happen he was like when God's he said God's time is God's timing yeah. right so I'm like we really gonna be mad at this man for saying in that moment he wasn't ready to commit. I want a dude to tell me if you ain't ready to commit. I need For you to sure. check yourself. I need you to go as to your hard mirror as that is and to check hear. exactly. But yeah. I need you to go to your mirror and check yourself if you're not ready to commit. Hey, but look, we live in a day and age where like a man you're supposed can't to just take, fake it till you make it. Look, man, miss me. Like, we talking about it's, marriage. It's so we talking many, about marriage. There's so many Don't things that red, me. that that men can't do. That's red flags. Now I can't take you to Cheesecake Factory on your first date. <sighs> I can't take you bowling. Take me to Cheesecake Factory. I, can't I like eat, bowling. I can't eat bananas. You can't eat... I can't eat popsicles. Somebody said a man can't order dessert. I can't have... That's soft. I can't have appetizers or dessert. Like... You can't get dessert. He can't get this food. This is hard out there he for... He can't have no sweets because he's This is hard sweet. out there for men now. Like, oh, hey, remember? Like, there was some some somebody that said, like... Uh, now that he now he's the woman in the relationship because she so, she slid into yeah, his. Yeah, last night. So let me yeah. say this. I didn't know. <laughs> we found this out last night. I didn't know this. that it was an issue that people had an issue with the fact that she had hit him up first. That she dropped into his DMs and said, "Hey," because Jonathan Owen said she was like, "Hey, what's up?" And he was just like, "Ah, I kind of waited for a second. And the lady said. She was like, well, she said, look, the fact that y'all going after men now, she was like, don't be mad that now they want their door open. They want roses. They want flowers. She was Man. like, you turn them into the woman. They could be soft. She was like, you got to carry them. You got, wait, no, what? So no. because you said, hey, or told somebody, hey, you kind of cute over there. Now, all of a sudden, the roles have reversed and I'm the dude and he the woman. I'm supposed to be hard and he going to be soft. 
Do y'all because remember? Because I said, hey, hey, first? Do y'all remember in like high school when it was like you sent your, your girlfriend over to say, tell that like, dude that you're interested? Like me. Or ask if you had, like a, me. You, had, you, was friend, you had a male friend that mm-hmm. was friends with that dude, you told him to say something, right? Because like the reality is like, honestly, I'm so glad that we married. I know. It's I hard. am so hey, happy to be out today. the game. But, like the, but the challenge though is like, and he said it, he struggled with analysis by paralysis as an athlete. But the other thing was, it's like, um, I can see and I can find you attractive all day and we can like we can get seeing each other innuendos and things mm-hmm. of that nature. But like rejection is is a hell of a drug. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so like in order to take that next step, I got to kind of like know for sure, for sure. And for and for them, it was her saying, hey, mm-hmm. just saying, hey, that's all she did yeah. was say, hey, she said he said she said, hey. She didn't say, yo, didn't I'm say, small buyers, I'll pay for me? She didn't say, look, look, will you marry me? I'll pay for all this. I got I all this money. See, out. I got followers. You're yeah. good if you get no, with me. But it's like, I'll take care of you. She just said, hey. And all it, of a sudden, she has disrespected the fact that she is a woman. She's disrespected any relationship that she will ever have because now she has overstepped what a woman should be doing. Y'all, y'all pull it yeah. back. Pull it back. She's she masculine. She being alpha now. She being a whore. And this is yeah. the other thing I'll say. Uh... I, don't, I'm, I feel like I'm jumping ahead. I feel like I'm jumping ahead. I don't know. I feel well, like I want to hold like, that one. But like um, to that same point, it's like um, all of us need that little push, that little nudge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, reassurance. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To like, and, and like we deal with it even now. It's like you, there's things that you really, really want to do. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. and like you know that you can do them, you just need that that extra so, so person. So then that takes us into the part that says the blessing, the things. Yeah, that we like felt there like was we, a lot that blessed that blessed me listen, in this interview. In this fifty four minutes, y'all, yeah. there were moments where you absolutely gonna learn something mm-hmm. if you take the time to just <clears throat> hear what they're saying. Here we go. Do me a favor. Don't even listen to the part of the relationship. Although I know that's why y'all initially tuned in. There were parts outside of that that were so deep. If you ever have had a dream that you're like, I want this to work so bad. I don't care about anything yeah. else in the world. I want this dream to work. They discussed that. They discussed talking to God and Resilience. praying for something and it actually happening and realizing like it may not look exactly like you want at first, mm-hmm. but if you just stay the course and understand God is like all things in his timing, yeah. like they talked about that. Um, Ryan, the host, he gave his perspective on stuff. Jonathan Owens gave his yeah. perspective. You like, know what I mean? Like, go like, ahead. Uh, what blessed me was how, like, basically, she introduced him to therapy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because when they got together, 2020, like, so, again, because we lived this. Yeah. I remember March 23rd, 2020 is when they announced that the Olympics was being postponed. Mm. Right? Mm. It was our anniversary date. Oh, yeah. Right? And it got postponed to 2021. Right. Yeah. And in 2021, Simone, like she said, she wasn't feeling she wasn't feeling like herself. Yep. And she pulled Something out of the up. Olympics. Yeah. And that was when the world jumped on her. Right. Yep. Um, but but jumped on her. Y'all. That's also when she really got into therapy. Mm-hmm. And like they were they had been dating for probably over a year by mm-hmm. then. And it's like um, he was there the whole time. So listen, he talks about the influence that she's had on mental health. The fact that he said, he was like, I'm not going to say she made it popular, but he was like, she made it known like it's, it's okay. okay. Not to just do. to him. He said, because he always thought like, you yeah. know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get to, going to therapy. Like what's that about? I don't really know. He said they did premarital counseling. Yes. He said he actually goes to therapy now. They go, she goes by herself. He goes by himself. Then they go together. Together yeah. now, he talks about like, yo, you can so really how much like she admires her. exactly the fact that like the influence that she has. So he talks about, he screams from the mountaintops yeah. how dope and amazing she is. Then there's the moment when I had to write it down in minute 38, mm-hmm. where I feel like if you go to minute 38, you will see him slash them different is what I put. And it's because he talks about a moment when they're laying down in bed, and mm-hmm. it talks about how he trust her opinion so and much. understands her value so much. He says, maybe if any other woman would have said this to me. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he's like, yeah. maybe if any other woman would have said this. He said, I might be like, ah, she don't know what she's talking about. He's like, because of who she is, he's like, he said, basically he's watching some film and 
she kind of she said eventually she made a com made a comment of like yeah babe you looking kind of slow you looking yeah. slow you looking sluggish he said first he was like wait what he said but then he realized his coaches had even been saying this to mm -hmm. him and she said I have been noticing this for a while but I didn't really say how about in, what relationship have you been in what we've all been in if you cared about this person and you noticing something you're like how do I say this to them yeah. like will they take it the right way knowing that it's coming from the heart they had an intimate moment in their bed where she's like babe something's up yeah like you like you're not looking like yourself I know you I know that you that you don't so mm -hmm. It's not coming across. Something's up. And so he said he goes to therapy and they talk about it, it was uh, paralysis by analysis. He yeah. was saying like mentally he's an overthinker. He's so he, like he saw what he was supposed to yep. do, but he was like he's, he was thinking about it. So he said for him that moment laying in bed, he said for him was the moment where he realized like something's up and I need to like address this. I need yeah. to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Do you know how game changing that is? For, like he said for him, that was a game changer. He said one day I'm going to write a book and I'm going to go back to this moment. Of, like this was the change. The, you, the, he you said, said the life altering, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. comment to me. Cause he went from, cause That's in beautiful. that moment and around that moment, he went from undrafted yeah. to like starter. Yes. To you know starter. So like, like Simone said, like, like now, like she was like four years from now. Mm hmm. I'll be Jonathan El Jonathan Owens' yep. wife. wife. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it was like, again, like what the other thing that blessed me about it is the fact that like as an athlete, I'm a, I'm, I'm a track athlete. I'm a track coach now. Mm -hmm. But the struggles that we have yeah. are the same struggles that other athletes yes. have are the same struggles yes. that we have in the world in our careers. I was just about to say, in you our know what careers. I mean? Where we overthink. We want it so bad yep. that we overthink yep. it so much that we don't do anything at all. Anything. Because it's know? like, if I, if I, what if it doesn't work? What if I fail? What if, like he said, what if I get cut? What if I get cut? Yeah. What well, he did, but he kept grinding. Yeah. And now this is where he is, you know? And he put himself all the way out there. He put Remember, himself all the way out he there. He was like, he, like, he said, like the, the best thing for him was to get cut. Yeah, right? right, and he went to that. He went to that tryout, and he played it safe. Yep. How many of us play it safe all he the time? He and it doesn't safe. work out. Yep. And so he said, his next tryout, he gonna he like, kill I'm it. I'm going all He packed out. all his stuff he up. He said, "Cause I ain't coming back." He said, "He ain't coming, he ain't coming back. back." And he ain't coming back. And you know, here we are. And so, yeah. And so for me, I feel like that just talked about, like, like I said, the grind, believing and talking to God about your desires for your dream. Like that was something that was addressed as well. If, yeah. I feel like it was just so many things. Like I literally so got nuggets. choked up in some part. Yeah. And so another question that I have, and I feel like this is where we're ending it, is yeah. this is to all of us, uh, to men, talking to the homie, to us girls, we're talking to your friend, your bestie. So right now, Simone, she's like sis, she cousin. And mm -hmm. I'm assuming that the comments that we've made in the comments that you guys made in the comment section that were just like, he's this, he whack, how dare he, how dare he? It was because you're being protective of Simone. Yeah. And so I'm assuming that this is all out of love. Like, even though it came across real like sideways, yeah. I'm assuming it's out of love. But my question to you is what friend, what bestie, what, what cousin, cousin Simone, who can you talk to in that manner and they listen to With you? With that energy. Who can you say, yeah. yo man trash, hey man, yo girl that you talk to, she whack, she this, she that, da, da. girl, yeah, nah, he my, ain't, my dude, he belittling you, he boo, boo, boo. Yeah, we not listening. We shutting down. We not hearing anything that you said. And so for me, we people took a snippet but this is also what we do in it. life, right? Yeah. We we come hard at somebody and then be like, I don't understand. I was just trying to tell them. And here's, like, the, crazy, nah, we, we, here's the interesting thing about it though. Like um, as adults, mm -hmm. right? that have no following or a huge following, we have people that respect us. Yeah. And so what I did, what I do anytime that I see something that could be like like questionable, I always like, I ran to, I like we often run to the comments, Absolutely. right? One to get an understanding, first to shape our mindset. Uh -huh. I ran to the, I ran to the source. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because oftentimes I mess things up when I don't know context. I mess yeah. things up when I don't know context. Yeah. So it's important for me to under, to get context, full context of what it was that we saw yeah. so that we could give um, a sound, like right. draw a sound right. conclusion about it, a, right. a sound opinion. Um, because like what I what I what I really try hard to do is not to borrow offenses, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to be mad because I don't want to be mad at you because she mad at you. I want to understand like right. what happened. I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. And like they, they said that all the time at my so at mature. my church, right? Like borrow mm -hmm. offenses, like because I ain't do it. Like yeah. they didn't do it to me. They didn't do it to me. So I need to understand what's going and on. And so my biggest thing right there is like you said, they didn't do it to me. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it to Simone. 
apparently Simone, hello, doesn't feel like he uh, offended her because she was cheesing y'all. Like you gotta watch it. Then so I said, listen to the tweet. Also, she said, y'all done yet? Then they even did an interview. I don't remember who it was with, where they asked him, like, how how do you feel about the world kind of coming at you like this? And he was like, it's not bothering me. He's like, I didn't. That's that's, that's not what our relationship yeah. is. That's not what it is. So yeah. for me, I'm just saying, if we could go and watch the whole 54 minute interview, do yourself a favor. Hit up in them comment sections and tell me if your perspective is still the same. Um, answer the three questions that we had about these are the three things he said. Do you feel like our perspective could it be? Could our perspective be? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's just more conversation that we need to have kind of about this. This is so much of this, I feel like, mirrors our relationship, our relationship right? Sure, just sure. kind of from outside kind we of had opinions. people that certain, commented absolutely. on like, but oh my, you, you want to talk, like, just somebody so was like, they was in our bed, like, hey, during season, she don't need to be having no, no sex. And Who, I was and like, I, like, first of all, the person even said, we not even that cool, like, yeah. not even to give that type of advice, I guess, that was supposed yeah. to be. But just all the things, like people just, like I said, they feel entitled. You gonna mess up to her make career. these comments to ask you things. Yeah. It's just sometimes y'all, we yeah, just go yeah, too yeah. far, just too aggressive. I'm interested to know. I'm interested to know in the comments how many of us actually watch the whole. Ooh, that's a podcast. real good one. Let, Please. let me know. Please, just lead a hand up emoji right. if you <laughs> if you watch the whole podcast. Yeah. So um, I just say all that to say you just had real talk with the real Nelsons. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Peace.